guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new and just tuning in hello and welcome I have today for you another haul what else I don't look my greatest today my hair is up no makeup on but that's because in my next video I'm gonna be doing a little try on make of makeup so I haven't done that yet <laughs> so for today's video I just have um some things that I bought in the last, I'd say about months. Um, I don't know what order I bought this all in, so it's gonna be a little all over the place. So the first things I have are from Walmart, um, and that is this wig. It's supposed to be for Morticia, I think. Um, it's a long black wig. It looks like it's for her. She wears, she has long black hair. However, it is super, super shiny I don't know if it reads on camera but it's like super shiny and it's actually not nearly as long as it looks in the picture um and that's because it was $3.98 four dollars um so I bought this just to have a wig I've never owned a wig I also bought a wig cap with it because it does not come with one so if you're looking to buy one from Walmart they don't come with wig um the net uh, wig cap that's what they're called so um I just got this because it's black it's a nice color I can use it for kind of anything um which Morticia lots of different things um and I also thought maybe I would be able to figure out how to stitch some white hair into it and do a Corella de Ville. Um, so I'll just play with it. I mean, it was four bucks. So, you know, why not? And then the second wig that I got was also from Walmart, more pricey, $9.94, much better quality, way, way better. It looks real. Um, however, while it looks real and it feels real and you can actually style it and it's heat resistant, the color's horrible on me. <laughs> I bought this wig because I had one one thing in mind and my hair is just too dark a red for it. Um, I have the these uh, camo pants that I bought recently and that was in one of my last hauls um, from Burlington, which I actually never filmed the try on portion and I'm sorry for that. Um, I look good in them, really good in them. However, I really don't like showing my whole body on camera so um, I decided not to do that um, but just know they look really good and I'll probably post a picture at some point I think I actually have one um, so I could post that on Instagram for you guys if you really want to check that out and I'll, I'll try to remember to link my Instagram uh, my YouTube Instagram into my description down below but um, I also have a regular account for Instagram, so I'll link probably both below so you can go follow both. But this is the wig. It looks way darker on camera than it really is. It is like super orange. And I bought this because I wanted to be Kim Possible. When I got the camo pants, that was not the original goal. However... I thought I'd look really good, and this is a first, in a crop top with those pants because they're super, like, high rise. They're like, they go up to, like, my midriff pretty well, and so they cover everything that I'm insecure about. And so I thought maybe I could wear a crop top with this. And then I thought maybe I could wear a black tank or a black, like, uh, like, regular t-shirt and be Kim Possible. So I bought this wig to do that um, and then I look horrible in it. So however it does say it's stylable so I might be tempted to try dyeing it to a darker color and then wearing it. Um, so I actually get some use out of it. Um, we'll see about that. Let's see if it says anything about dyeing it. It does not. I think it's really what it means is the style you can straighten, you can curl. It's heat resistant. It's not made for dye. 
but um it's still really cute I just my skin tone does not go well with this and I'd show you it on but it looked horrible and it's also kind of itchy no the uh, the black one is itchy but this one uh is really nice I just I don't look good in it and uh like I said I'm kind of having like a a shitty week I guess you'd say um I've got a lot of stuff going on maybe I will film a video about that for you guys um in the future probably after I'm done with this one and the makeup one that I'm gonna do but yeah so those are the two wigs I got and they were for Halloween related things and or photo shoots in the future then the next things I've got for you and that's actually the last of the haul altogether because it was all bought at one place but in Mariposa they have a two no 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 one a SPCA they have one in Oakhurst also but that one's not the one I went to Mariposa SPCA and um every now and again um the lady that runs it she will do a $20 cart sale so that means and it's a regular shopping cart it's not a basket a shopping cart full of whatever you want anything goes electronics books cds movies clothes um dishware um anything you can put it in your cart and it can overflow it can go on the underneath of the cart you just it can't come out of the cart so you can fill it however tall you want it and so I didn't get as much as I wanted to get and I really really wish I had spent time going through all of the clothes better because I really could have made out like a bandit with a bunch of new clothes um however I didn't um but I did get some really nice things that ended up being worth what I believe is far more than $20. So it was a good haul and all. So first thing I got was this Halloween bag. It's just a simple reusable bag with Halloween and like a witch flying in the moonlight. Um, but it's super cute and it was one of the first things I saw. So I was like, why not? My card is empty. And if I end up with too many things, it's really not that big. So, you know, it's cute. And also, I had a goal going in um, to find Halloween things and clothes um, and shoes. So, it was the first thing I saw Halloween related. And actually, I think it was the only thing I ended up getting Halloween related because they didn't really have any Halloween stuff by the time I got there. The next thing, and it was one of the last things I put in my cart. Hannah, no, I found these ones. Hannah found me a pair of pants that ended up being just a size too small. Um, they went up and they actually buttoned, but they were super tight and I would not have been able to sit in them. Um, so I gave them to my mom and they fit perfect. She loves them. She's super grateful that Hannah found those. And then I found me these pants. And um, they are... Lane Bryant, which is a very expensive brand for a plus size. Um, and so they are super, super comfy. They're a little stretchy, but not really. I noticed that one of the buttons has like a stitching problem in the back. Like it's a little ripped, if you can see that. Um, but Hannah knows how to sew and Hannah's mom knows how to sew and I'm sure I could probably also just cut this part off. Um, and it's still buttonable. You just have to go around it. So I grabbed these ones and I'm super happy because I don't own any actual jeans. So these are my first pair besides those cargo, um, um, pants, cargo camo pants. Um, and so this is like really nice to have and the cat is behind me. <laughs> so yeah, I got these. I am not going to try them on for you. Sorry. At least not right now. I might decide to do it later if I get confident, but, um, they are really nice and comfy. Um, they definitely show my tum tum off, unfortunately. Um, and they're bell bottoms instead of skinny jeans. So that's 
not my favorite, but for literally $20 and me grabbing like 70 other things, not 70 other things, a lot of other things, um, it was a good find and, um, yeah, I'm not mad about it. I just have to wear, you know, like a shirt that covers my stomach area and then maybe I could, um, figure out something cute to do with the bottom of the jeans. And then I got two pairs of shoes, both of them boots. Sorry, I'm just trying to grab them. So the first pair are, they're both black and they're both like these kind of combat boots. Um, they are a size or two too big ish, but um, with like some cozy um, socks on. Um, in the winter, like, uh, longer socks, like fuzzy socks and things like that, um, they'll fit perfect and I can always shove, you know, like a little bit of tissue right there if I need to, you know, there are things I can do and they're really cute. They look like they've barely been worn. Um, I don't think they're name brand or anything It just says daily shoes. Um, but you know, why not? Yeah. San Francisco daily shoes. Yeah, and they're size 12. So I grabbed them, them, sorry. And then the next one are basically the same, a little bit shorter, um, but they are work safe boots or safe step. And um, they're muddy on the bottom. I'm gonna have to clean them. Um, but yeah, they're a little bit shorter and they're also size 12. It was weird. I kept finding size 12. Um, so they're a tiny bit big, but actually, weirdly enough, these ones fit quite comfortably. Um, they have some insoles in them that somebody put into the shoes. Um, so I'm going to have to take those out and replace them with my own because there's just simply not enough support without that. But you know, that's not the end of the world for, um, a pair of boots that I got at a thrift shop. Then, I don't even know if I can grab this and put this on camera how big it is it is a backpack roller backpack i haven't had one of these in so long sorry that's so hard to show um it's got like a handle up top you can't see it um and it's got a bunch of stuff also that i shoved in there that i got um but yeah sorry oh that was hard to maneuver all right so now let's show you what i got inside of it anyways i got this because it's kind of like a um, suitcase almost, you know? Like, at this point in my life, I don't need a backpack, really. But if I do go back to school, I can use it as a backpack. And if I don't, I can use it as a suitcase. A little suitcase going away. Perfect size. And the next thing I got is this. This is like, I think, a tackle box. A little baby tackle box, I think. Because it had um, fish hooks in it originally. So I'm going to have to clean it out. Um, but it's just like a little case. I figured with the fact that I collect so many crystals and rocks, I can take this with me when I'm going out and hang it off like my bag and just collect stuff in it that I find shells, rocks, crystals, things like that. Cute little find. The next thing I don't think, I don't know that I'm going to use it because it's a little kind of iffy using, um, pre-used um, makeup and or um, skin stuff um, but this is a Josie Marin um, argan cleansing oil and I figured maybe if I deep clean the cap with uh, like sterilization stuff I can use it it's only like not even half empty and I'm almost positive it is what it actually says it is and it's a good brand so you know I grabbed it. I figured if even if I don't end up using it, I should grab it um, just in case. And the next thing I got is technically not just for me. It's for Hannah, me, and Nakota. Um, we've been wanting to film some movies and write some scripts to make movies. Um, and these are perfect for it. DVD, CDs, RW, um, DVD, ROMs. Sorry. And they're rewritable, 120 minutes, 
four and a half, a little over four and a half gigabytes of data can go on to them. It's a 10 pack. So that's a lot of CDs, you know, and there were a ton more, but I just grabbed these ones because it was a giant set. There were individual ones as well, but you know, it can never hurt. And then, um, this was like in the bag, I guess, because like I didn't put it in my bag, but it's a little, um, C-U-E, I don't know what this is. It's a little pin. Somebody knows, put it down in the comments, let me know. Look it up, let me know. I have no idea, don't really bother wanting to know what it is, but if somebody happens to know and it's really cool, let me know. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm a little disorganized. Next thing I got is somewhat Halloween related, fall related. I think it's a dollar store item. Let's see. Made in China. No, it doesn't say if it's a dollar store, but you know, it's a little ceramic pumpkin. It's kind of cute. It's got a little leaf off the side. Yeah, it's adorable. I like fall. It's my favorite. So I grabbed it and then I grabbed keeping in the theme of holiday, I grabbed this little snowman. He's so cute. He's a seized candy snowman. So I think you put like, you open him up and he's a little basket. So you can put like chocolates in him, I guess. And then you can close him back up. If I can get it to close. Ow. It's a little hard to close. There we go. And then, yeah, super cute. Next thing I grabbed is this little lighthouse. He is a perfume bottle, actually. Like, you can get this to pop off somehow. I don't know how. It, it was Old Spice, which is a good smell. Um, there it goes. Um, it's a really nice smell, but it's empty. So I, I just got it because it's aesthetically pleasing for um, my ocean vibe that I have in my room when it's not Halloween. <laughs> and going with that theme, I found this little mermaid tail keychain that is sequined and rainbowy. Super cute. It's just a little find. Figured I'd put it on a bag. Then I still haven't tried these on, so I don't even know if they fit. It's the only other thing of clothing I bought. I really wish I got shirts too and looked better through the pants. But there's these leggings. They are Walmart, I'm pretty sure. Yes, um, no boundaries. Um, they're a size extra large, which I am not. I'm like a 2X or 3X, but you know, leggings are uber stretchy. So I figured I'd give them a shot. And if worst comes to worst and they don't fit, um, my mom can wear them or um, Hannah can take them from me. Um, before I forget, I also got her a pair of wedding shoes. They were her size, fit perfect, so cute. Um, she probably will do a haul if she hasn't already of the stuff that she got from the SPCA. So we went together with her mom. And at that point, she will show you those. I will try to remember to link hers, her channel in the description so you can find her easily if you don't already follow her because you follow us both. The next thing, again, isn't for me. I just saw these and I have a lot of friends coming up with weddings. Um, so it's like a little wedding gram. Um, I don't know if all of them are in here. Um, but they're just little, um, things you hold up for like a photo booth. There's the wedding gram, happy couple, um, just an empty, uh, picture frame. Um, wedding cash crasher, still single, me, um, team bride, team groom, I came for cake, also me, um, dancing queen, not me, <laughs> top hat, uh, mustache, lips, tie, um, beard, and goatee. Beard and mustache, sorry. And then I have no idea what that one is. Um, but I don't know if all of them are in here. I really didn't look. I know the team bride and groom are, and I'm single is, so, you know. And the wedding gram and the blank one are in there for sure. So I grabbed them. 
because why not? This is for binder. It is a little, um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'll show you that in a second. Um, just a little, um, little folder. I figure this is perfect for me because, um, I'm going to need a little filing, um, thing for doing contracts for photography, which I am starting my official business for. So I will be doing contracts now. Um, so I figured this is perfect. This is some kids. It has history, science, English, algebra one. Um, <laughs> but the funny thing I found, if I could find it or it blended into the bed, is may God bless you on your birthday and every day. <laughs> it's funny because I'm spiritual and I'm not into God. <laughs> but that's funny. All right. My next finds. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We don't want those to fall. Okay. Um, so I don't know if these are going to be good or not because they weren't in, um, little slots but uh this is family fun edition of anastasia disc one it says dvd video on it so i'm really hoping it's the actual movie and not just like the bonus disc or whatever and then the other one is bride wars which i love that movie um but they are kind of scratched up if anyone knows a good remedy for scratched cds let me know. I don't think it's possible, but if it is, please let me know. I would love to figure that out. Um, and then I found this actually with the CDs in the CD section. Um, but it is the movie 2012 and I liked this movie, I think. So I grabbed it. Why not? And then I got the movie Selma. And I made sure all of them are in there and that's what they actually are before I grabbed them. There are a lot that didn't have the DVD in it or some that I was like, ooh, I want that. And then it wasn't that. Um, Material Girls, um, I don't know for sure that that is the actual movie in here because it's a weird disc. Um, but I thought I'd risk it because I like this movie I haven't watched it in a really long time um so why not then I don't know if I have the DVD for Princess Diaries um but I figured why not um just in case so I grabbed that and it's a special edition so it does have um the uh DVD and the special edition in it and then it also has a little uh, Disney movie magic one code unlocks it all movie rewards. And if it's not expired, I'm putting that in my Disney code thing because why not? And then I got Sex in the City. Um, I have not watched this movie ever and I've never seen the show. So I figured why not? Hannah loves it. She raves about it. Um, so... I grabbed it. I saw it. I grabbed it. Then we're coming up on the last of things. I got two of these. This is a um, alkali block filter. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they do. 400%. Uh, but they're for water. And they're filtering. Filtrating. Filtrating. Um, so I grabbed those because... If they're what I think they are, um, they're perfect for hiking. And, you know, I don't hike all that much, but it would be great for if I ever do. And I need water, desperately, from a river. And then, lastly, I got a bunch of picture frames. They came in a giant bag. It was in a box, but I didn't want the box. Um, this one says, friends are a lifetime of shared experiences and memories, laughter, caring, sharing, secrets, honesty, listening, fights, talking, advice, dreams, 
A true friend is a gift to cherish. Friends are forever and that could not be more true in my life. Um, so super cute and I'm probably going to put a picture of me and Hannah in it. Um, and then this one's just a little regular picture frame. Um, another little picture frame that has a stand in the back. Another little picture frame with a stand in the back. Another, um, picture frame. They're all picture frames. And then a picture book, which I think I'm going to put, um, I don't know. We'll see. Don't know why I said I think I'm going to put, because I have no idea. And then this interesting picture frame, it's different from the rest with how it stands, but super cute still. And they're all from JCPenney. And if it's a, it says a four by six, but I feel like this is way bigger. Maybe the paper is a four by six, but not the frame. Anyways, um, it's super cute. And so, yeah, that's what I got. And I am super happy about them. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think there is. Um, let me know if you have any, like, cool places that you go. Even if they're not where I'm from. Because obviously I, some of you don't even know where I'm from. But also, like, you know, even if you do know where I'm from, you may not live near me. Um, so just let me know if you do have any cool places that you go sh start shopping and, um, like, say the area where it's from. You don't have to tell me if you're from there. Just say, like, that area. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to, obviously. Um, I can't get this back in the bag. All right. <laughs> um, but I would love to know where you guys shop. Where you guys find good deals things like that always cool i love burlington and ross for like multiple area type shopping wherever i go and then i also like um i can't think of what i was gonna say there was one other dollar store <laughs> Dollar, well, not dollar store. Dollar store is great for like cheap finds, but it's not really thrifting. Um, but it's good for DIY. DD's discounts. But um, the one problem I find with a lot of those types of stores is that um, even if um, you find some really great stuff, you could be in line for a really long time. But anyways oh i totally skipped the cds we're not done <laughs> okay so lastly i got a bunch of cds um i don't know if i still have the cd for this or not so i grabbed it when i saw it it's the cd wicked for the play i love this soundtrack so i just i had to pick it up because just in case then I got a Jonas Brothers CD. It's about time. It's got, I think, Year 3000. Yeah, it does. Um, I don't think I know the rest of the songs. Uh, no, I really don't. But I know that one. <laughs> then I got the Cheetah Girls CD. Um, one World. I don't know if I watched One World or not. It's the one, I think, without Raven's mom. Because the picture doesn't have her in it. Um, but I really did like those movies as a kid and then I got Cheetah Girls too so you know the party's just begun oh my god uh I don't know most of these songs but like I knew that one uh yeah that's the only one I know anyways and then I got a Black Eyed Peas CD this one has um Don't Funk With My Heart My Humps um, I don't know the rest, I don't think. I probably do, but, like, not by just looking at the names. Anyways, I grabbed it because I don't have this CD, and I don't have any of the others besides Wicked. 
and so I grabbed it because why not it was technically at that point free because <laughs> of how much stuff I got oh this is a double CD Ooh. Um, this is Taylor Swift fearless uh, it's got the audio CD and then what is the other one can I even get it how does it work I saw like I took out the CD and there's another one in there so I just don't know how to get it maybe it opens backwards no interesting well it looks like nobody ever touched it because they couldn't get to it <laughs> maybe that's why it was in there how do you open this oh my gosh i like that figured it out and then the video dvd i don't know what that means maybe it has music videos yeah Music videos for Love Story, White Horse, You Belong With Me, The Best Day, Change, On the Set of Behind, On the Set, Behind the Scenes at the Music Videos for Love Story, White Horse, You Belong With Me, Additional Platinum Content, Fearless Tour 2009 Photo Gallery, Fearless Tour 2009 First Show, Behind the Scenes, CMT Awards, Thug Story. Cool. I'm going to definitely have to watch that with Hannah because she really loves Taylor Swift and I don't know if she has that. That will be fun. Anyways, that is officially the end of um, my haul. I don't have anything else, I am pretty sure. And if I do, I will end up putting in another video. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed watching this crazy haul. Um... Again, if you have any suggestions of places to go that I don't know exist or that you think uh, I should visit when I ever, if I ever come to a certain area, let me know. I would love to know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.